The sun's coming up. And while commuters slowly drive to uptown office buildings, things have been smoking all night on Central Avenue. Mmm, smell that. Smell like home. I'm from Texas, and barbecue means a lot to us. Uh, this is our beef brisket. Brisket that's smoky and moist, it practically falls apart. I had the brisket, it melted in my mouth. It was amazing. People love our brisket. The brisket is my favorite thing on the menu because I think it's we, I think it's the thing we do the absolute best job of. We're bringing in the product from Oklahoma, which services Texas. We smoke it for 24 hours. We just do it really well. This is Midwood Smokehouse, and smoking barbecue is what they do. We've got some uh, pork butts. Ooh, and ribs. And then we've got our St. Louis style ribs. They focus on the smoke, and um, that definitely comes through in his barbecue. You can taste the smoke flavor. They are so serious about smoke here at Midwood that owner Frank Shabelli spent a fortune on this hand-built, wood-burning, computer-controlled smoker. It's very high-tech, but also very old-fashioned. Um, it's all wood. There's no gas involved at all. Pitmaster Matt Barry shows off the inside. The computer opens and closes vents to control the amount of smoke hitting the meat and the temperature. We do it the old-fashioned way. I mean, we do it with, with real wood over time. And so it imparts that fantastic flavor to it, and it just is very good. Frank Chabelli traveled all across the country sampling barbecue. We almost did the uh, the mayonnaise. Alabama does a mayonnaise-based barbecue. It was good. It just we hated how it looked. No Alabama mayo barbecue here, but thanks to Frank's travels and his barbecue passion, there is a meticulous daily pig picking. But you can see looking at the meat. You got some darker and some lighter. That's from the different parts of the pig. It's a blend, and I, I like how ours comes out. I like to keep some of the skin in there too. Even the blackened, crunchy outer layer of the meat goes into Midwood's barbecue. The bark in the barbecue is the part that gets charred. It's, it's cooked very, very well. It's got all the seasoning, and to me, it's got the most flavor. I mean, it's like the little flavor bits. The best barbecue we ever had. It's great. It's amazing. It's not too spicy. It's just right. Great flavor. The pork sandwich is just a giant portion of hand pulled pork, and then we have your choice of small on it. Plates are piled high too, and of course they also smoke a lot of ribs here. The chicken is a South Carolina mustard-based chicken. I felt that that's what went best with it. Perfect. Tender, melt in your mouth. The menu here at Midwood Smokehouse is loaded with unusual items. I stole one of his bacon-wrapped jalapenos. It's delightful and cheesy. Those bacon-wrapped jalapenos are another item Frank found in his barbecue travels. Cheese goes inside the jalapeno pepper. It's then wrapped in bacon and smoked for a couple of hours. Well, those smoked jalapenos are addictive. And now something new with those bacon-wrapped jalapenos. They're combined with smoked chicken, pico de gallo, and guacamole on a taco. And we have a lot of Latino cooks, and the guys started making tacos out of the leftovers. And so they um, <laughs> came up with these like kind of concoctions out of things that we had on hand, and some of them are really pretty darn good, good enough that we would put them on the menu. They also decided to put their smoky pork and coleslaw on a taco with a spicy tomato salsa. It's going to be most popular at lunch because people, a lot of our stuff, they want to go home and take a nap afterwards. And I think the one thing that the taco does is it's a little bit lighter. And here's a new item ladled into a bowl. It's black bean chili made with chunks of smoked beef brisket. A little different, but it's, you know, it's got a unique flavor. It's not like your typical chili. It's got a lot more. It's got smokiness. And when he came up with the idea, Chef Tim Grudy decided the chili needs lots of cheese. A little more extra cheese never hurt anybody. <laughs> the cheese is melted, then sour cream and a jalapeno go on top. The brisket is what makes it different. Yeah. It gives it a little different texture and flavor. So you like it? So at Midwood Smokehouse, that high-tech wood smoker is busy 24-7. Frank wouldn't tell us how much he paid for it. You could buy a really, really, really nice sports car. But hey, good barbecue's worth it, right? So the crowds keep coming to Midwood, and Frank Chabelli keeps sampling, just to make sure everything's perfect. The food is so good, it's really hard to have restraint. <laughs>